Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Big Time Talkers. I'm Brock Gordon. I'm Tommy Neely. And Tommy, there is more than we thought that we would need to talk about here and I mean, we this had, podcast in the week of, past week in sports. I mean, we had a light, you know, Wayne. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty light, but this one's kind of like loaded. Well, Wayne was loaded too. It was just, you know. Quicker than the last one. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was way quicker. Was, Trust me, I edited it. It was very fast. Yes, but this week, Tommy, your choice. There are four topics that we can choose from. Which one do you want to start with? Do you want to start with your passion, your love, the sport that you would die for? Baseball? Oh, golf? Yeah. Yeah. You want to start with the Ryder Cup? Tommy, USA! 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 You Fuck you, Riggs! You fucking redcoat! Fuck all the redcoats! America forever! Yeah, so the final ended up being... Uh, Oh, hang on. Explain to everyone what the Ryder Cup is first. So the Ryder Cup is basically the U.S. versus uh, the best, the best of the U- like the best golfers in the U.S. competing against the best golfers in Europe. Not and, like, not hey, like. I'm sorry, son, but we trapped you on that stack of dimes at your collar neck. You thought you were gonna win the cup once again. <clears throat> but yeah, Tommy. I mean. Keep explaining it. So basically what they do is, is they do like a format. Like it's basically just like. 1v1. Basically a head to head against the countries. Mm. Sunday it's a 1v1. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, Friday they do. Uh, they play Friday morning. They play like a group of four. And then. Uh, so it's a tag team match player. I'm pretty sure it is if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Then Putting it an, in wrestling terms, they didn't so do I can an afternoon. It. They didn't do an afternoon session. It's basically it's like a, a tag team match, basically. Mm. But they take the best score possible, mm. and then uh, they do the same thing on uh, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday is where it's just the singles matches, where it's just all, everyone on each team plays each other, depending on where they put them. R.I.P. to all the golf balls that Bryson DeChambeau. Murdered. Also ripped to that person's shin that he hit. Oh, yeah, that one, too. But Bryson DeChambeau, uh, I think he might be my new favorite golfer, Tommy. Pretty sure he is. I mean, on Sunday, he literally drives the green and then pulls out putter after driving the green. I'm like, that's such a... And he gets up and down, by the way. He got, he got up and down from there. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this dude's just... Sick. So most people aren't going to know what you're talking about. Put it in the most basic terms hmm, let's see it's like if brock lesnar actually okay like, just like it's this like it's the non-wrestling podcast right i know but like for like if you're a wrestling fan that's like brock lesnar actually like connecting on that shooting star press against kurt angle ah like it's if he did hmm but brock lesnar didn't and almost broke his freaking neck yes either way it was a good showing for the u.s they won like 19 to 9 i think 19 was the to final. 9 yeah so we doubled them up basically Basically, you won by you won by ten. Uh, I believe it is in two years. I believe it is in. It's across the pond. Italy. Ugh. If I'm not mistaken. Oh well, we'll go over there and we'll invade Europe and take Italy once more, like we did before, in the U.S. I mean, they had to postpone this one because of COVID. So yes. The, the years are going to be off, kind of now. Hmm. So next year. So is every even year. So next year, if I'm not mistaken, it is the President's Cup. Now explain to the people what the President's it's Cup is. It's basically what the it's basically the Ryder Cup as well, but, but but instead of Europe, it's the other countries, like China, Japan, mm. Australia. Mm. So what you're saying is it's basically South Africa. What you're saying it's basically South Africa and Australia. With some Japanese and some Chinese players yeah, against the U.S. Yeah, pretty much. So, and that's the one that the U.S. dominates in, correct? Oh, that's the one the U.S. wins almost every damn okay. time. So, I think as long as, I think for how, 
as long as I've been alive, I have never seen the U.S. lose the President's Cup. Mm. Never seen them lose it. They've always mm. they always win it. Mm. But either way, it was like that got onto your bucket list. Go to the Ryder Cup, by the way. Yes, it dude, did. It's the, it, dude, it's the best. I that, wish tournaments like I wish other golf tournaments like that would be like that. That'd be I amazing. wish that there was somewhere here in the state of Missouri that that could happen. But there's not. No, there's really not. Because state of Missouri, we value another sport more. Mm, Baseball. (laughs) Football, too. Well, kind of. Eh. We have two MLB teams in the state. We only have one NFL team. Yeah. So, therefore, baseball. Speaking of baseball, Tommy, what a transition. Right? Bro, like... um, Oh, it is nut-cutting time here in the MLB. Me and you are going... To as of the recording, we are going to the Royals game tonight against uh, the Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland uh, Indians. The final time that me and Tommy will see them as in the Kansas in- as the Indians as the Indians, which is going to be weird. Dude, that's going to be so weird. Be like, and they're the not Indians. the spiders either, which sucks. We're going to call. I'm going to call them the spiders. That's fine. Out of spite. Yeah, we'll have to do. Uh, Did you know how awesome that logo would be, dude? I'd actually buy some of those hats. We'll have to do uh, top ten. Team names that never have been. Spiders is definitely number one. Yeah, uh, the St. Louis Stallions is also up there. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I, we'll 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 compile a list at some point. The Memphis Hound Dogs, by the way. Oh, oh. Okay. Either way, Brock, it's getting like close. We have the rest of this the, month. And the NL is. The NL is like. Uh, the NL's uh, decided. Except for the East. Or the West. Central's done. I'm pretty sure the West is... I think San Francisco's got it. You think or you know? I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. But it's the East that everyone's looking at because Philly's only two and a half out of the division. Like, they could win the division. But Atlanta, that lineup fucks. That lineup does fuck. But, like... But if you're Philly, you have to win these three games against Atlanta. Bottom ticker. What the hell? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, we're cup qualifiers, I think. No! That's just I friendlies. I don't know. Excuse me? Does it look like I watch soccer? I do. Well, I don't watch Which is why I'm confused about that. I why is Italy playing Argentina? Either anyway. way, either way, Philly is, hasn't been eliminated yet. Neither have my Reds. Yet. They're mathematically eliminated. No, the Reds are still alive, mathematically. We have not been eliminated yet. Brock, there is five and a half out of a wild card spot. That is, yeah, I mean, there are six games left. Do you really think St. Louis is going to lose six straight Listen, games? Listen, I'm saying... Mathematically, we aren't eliminated. We are eliminated, however. That's why, because we're yeah, playing the... Yeah, that finish line keeps getting longer I know. and longer That's what I'm saying. We've longer. been eliminated. That's what I'm saying. We've been eliminated. We we have a three-game series against the White Sox that starts today. So, Philly has a chance... And we have a rookie on the mound tonight. So, Philly has a chance to either make the playoffs as a division, divisional, that, division winner... That's it. Or... Nope. That's it. Basically, if they lose one of these games, they're pretty much done. Yeah. Which, I want Atlanta to win. I kind of want Atlanta to win. Just so we can continue to have the memes of the Phillies keep spending all this money. And they still can't make the playoffs. Exactly. That's kind of funny. Either way, but, like, still, it's like, Philly has to win these three games. Like, these are the last, this is the last time they play play each other. Who do the Phillies play after the Mets? Oh, so a good old rivalry to end the year. Pretty much. Mm, that must be nice. Uh, Brock on the AL side. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I watched, we watched a video try, how, how trying to, to explain. Trying to explain the three, the, the rare unicorn known as the three-way tie in OB, and it hurt my brain. Yeah, yeah, hurt mine too. And also my soul a little bit. I it hurt my brain like really. I felt like I lost brain cells. So let's that. explain to everyone what the division looks or what the wild card looks like right now. Currently, 
The top wild card spot is held by the... The Yankees. The, the, the Yankees. Bleh. Second one is held by uh, Boston. So here, the so Red here, Sox. so here, are the teams. So here, are the five. I'd say four, four, four five. Four. Because I guess technically Oakland hasn't been eliminated they're yet. Three, they still they're three and a half out by the way. I know, and they've got to play uh, Seattle. So the two five more games. teams that are in contention for a wild card spot. Notice how I didn't say the one or the two. I said a wild card spot because that's how wild this is going to get. New York, Boston, Toronto, Seattle, and Oakland. Go ahead and chuck Oakland out of there because they still got to play. Um... I'm putting Oakland with an asterisk right there. Well, that's funny you say that because they play that team at the end of the year. I know, but still. So, and also, if I'm not mistaken, Seattle still has a shot at the West crown as well. If I'm not mistaken, they actually do. I think they're only four back. So. Or four and a half. So it's. Still very close. Oh my god, this is hurting my brain. What? I'm trying to look at the, how to explain this tiebreaker. I, it's Brock. If I'm if I were you, when we're editing this video, find a. We're gonna link like a how like how the MLB does tiebreakers. We're gonna link it at the very bottom of this, like the bottom of the description. So if you basically, they that, all play each other. If you want to click on that and hurt your in hurt your brain trying to understand it, go ahead. Be my guest. Because yeah. we watched Buster Only try and explain it. We watched a three-minute video trying of them trying to explain it, and it just hurt my brain so much. I... At this point, I don't know who's going to be in for the AL wildcard teams. And I'm, I'm just, excited. I'm just sit back. I'm just going to sit back and relax and enjoy this. Enjoy this. Oh, this. I am eating popcorn. Oh, yeah. I got the Watching popcorn. the popcorn standings. Ready. Just... Hum. I'm like, T.O., get your popcorn hum. ready. Yes, Exactly. Funny you should mention T.O., Tommy, Monday Hold night. Hold on, wait, before we, before we make that transition, who do you, by the end of the season, who do you think your two wildcard teams are? Who do I think or who do I want? Who do you, your prediction of the two wild, AL wildcard teams. Okay, uh, let's separate it for who I want versus who I think it is. Cause give, both, me your, give me your honest prediction. My honest prediction? Yankees, Red Sox. My, your honest one? That's my honest prediction. Because I I have a bad feeling. Who do I want? Boston, Toronto is mine. Is your honest? Yeah, that's a good one. My Who I want is Toronto, Seattle. Two young, that, hungry I agree teams. With you with that one. that like, one would be fantastic. But we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. We're either going to get it in New York Boston or Toronto. We're getting one of those three. Again, Seattle is only a game and a half back, too. Right. And they so they have two more with Oakland, too. I mean, Seattle wins those two games. Oakland's eliminated. Oakland's There's, pretty much mathematical. Actually, I think if Seattle wins tonight, Oakland's eliminated. Either way, if they split that, they're pretty much... Oakland's mathematically eliminated. Yep. Because then Oakland has to play Houston, to play which Houston. right now, I'm literally sitting here going... I want Seattle to sweep so it's pretty, Oakland. It's pretty much a four-team. Let me let me let me finish. I want Oakland to sweep or Oakland to get swept by Seattle, and then I want Oakland to sweep Houston, and the Mariners to win out. You know why? Because then we get the Mariners as the N as the AL West champions, and the Houston Astros have been eliminated. But Seattle's, Seattle is four and a half out of the West. Yeah. Who so does they have two, who's so, Houston play? So They have the two against so Oakland. Have, so Seattle has the two against... Oakland. Oakland. And then three against the Angels. And then three against the Angels. They'll win. They'll sweep that Angel series. So... I'm not worried about that. I believe that. it's Oakland that has the last three games against Houston. Yeah, who does Houston have currently? Houston have currently? Mm-hmm. Who am I rooting for right now? Who Houston has currently. Yeah, who they're playing. The, the three games that they're going to play. As in the series that they're currently in. Is it the Angels? Tommy, is it the Angels? Am I reading that right? Uh, wow. Well, it can't be the Angels because okay. it's the Rays? Tommy! It just popped up on the ticker, didn't it? Yes! Tommy! The Astros win the West with a win and a Seattle loss. You're telling me...
that we have a shot right now if the Rays sweep the Astros. It could possibly happen. Oh my, Tommy, we might not have the Astros in the playoffs at all. At all? Bro, I'd actually be down for that. Not gonna lie. No, I, I don't know if there's a person on earth that wouldn't be. Well, Bro, I'd be so down for that. You know, unless you're drinking the Kool Aid there down there in Houston, in which case, fuck you. It's some trash can Kool Aid right yeah, there. Yeah, I've ever seen one. Y'all fucking ruined football or baseball. Alrighty. Speaking of ruining football, <laughs> Tommy. I've given up. I'm retiring from betting. I'm up three weeks on you right now. You're all, we're riding a hot streak. I'm not gonna lie. You're I am. You're riding a hot streak. It so, uh, you I know, did pretty good you, last week. You, though. I did. You I can. Did you can keep doing. You know your wrestling predictions. You know I'm fine with losing those. I'm doing well with the real sports, Tommy. I mean, I'm pretty. I did pretty decent. You, you know, did all right. Week. I did decent. You did horrible in the NFL. Yeah, I did shit in the NFL. You, <laughs> the three, the two that we differed on, you bombed both. You took the Niners and you took the Texans. I didn't take the Texans. I knew. No, you. I knew Carolina you, was You took win, the Texans. But I took you, the points. Yeah, you took the Texans points. You didn't take them outright. So, but... Do you want to talk about college football or NFL first? <sighs> college football is going to be quick, so let's go ahead and knock that one out. Nothing really happened. I mean, Clemson's eliminated from the playoff. I mean, that happened. Two losses for Clemson. Yeah, so Ken- Clemson lost has lost two games, and we're not even like into November. This is already. week four. We're in week four. That was week four. They're eliminated already. Thank the Lord. Uh, the power of Tuffy... Will live on forever. What was that? The game was in like what double overtime? Something like that. Double overtime or overtime, something like that. Yeah, double overtime. Yeah. Either way, it's like crazy to think that we're not even into week five. We're not even into week five, and they're already elim- bas- basically eliminated from the playoff. You want to know what's even crazier? Ohio State loses another game, they're done. Not too. If they lose to Penn State, they're done. They lose to Michigan, they're done. I think they they actually do lose to Penn State. I think they lose to Penn State and Michigan this year. Okay, may oh okay. Well, well hang whoa, on, whoa, check whoa, it right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 check whoa. where the game is. It doesn't matter. Harbaugh has never beaten. He's yeah, never he has. beat Ohio. He's like, beaten him once. One time. Yeah. That's it. Where's it at? It's in Ann Arbor. Tommy. I, I I don't know. We'll pick it when we get to that part of the year. But always, right now, it's always the first game on the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, the Saturday of Thanksgiving. I know. After Thanksgiving. That's always the same the same time that Mizzou plays Arkansas. Always which, the first game. I'm not watching that game. You know what game I'm watching? No, oh, I know you are. But as a Mizzou Arkansas dude, so <laughs> Mizzou they, so, has not lost the Battle of the Border, and this is going to be the year. So the Ohio State. By the way, did you see their linebacker literally just? Quit. Yes. Halfway during the game. Yes, I did see their linebacker quit. He just pulled that guy from the Bills. That one year. Kayvon Pope is it? Yeah. He has entered the transfer portal. Wow. Who did Ohio State play this week? I forget. Uh, Akron. Weren't they losing seven nothing? For like a good portion of the game, and then Ohio State just answered back. No. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, they were up seven nothing to the start of the first around the start of the first quarter. And Akron then, was, and then Akron proceeds to score no points for the rest of the game after yeah. that. None, like a zero. Zero. Oh my lord! We have Boston College versus Clemson this week. Boston College is going to put the nail in the coffin. Oh, and that loss to NC State in double overtime was the nail in the coffin. What do you mean? No, I mean like that was the no. That loss to NC State was an unranked. I could s- an unranked NC State was that nail in the coffin. I know, but I could still see some BS happening where they try to make the case that no, they should not. be in they it lost, instead of like they a- lost. They straight up just they straight up Georgia straight up beat Clemson. Yeah. Week one and then lost to an unranked NC State team. What is NC State's record right now? Better than Clemson's. Well, no shit. Oh, here's a scary fact for you. Mizzou and Clemson have the same record right now. They're three and one. NC State does? Who'd they lose to? Mississippi State. Oh, that's a good loss. 
Um, some other games that happened, everyone was talking about Notre Dame, Wisconsin. That game hit the over. I'm fucking, I was pissed off when I saw that score. Yeah, that was. The final was Notre Dame 41, Wisconsin 13. Oh, that, that shit pissed me off when I saw it hit the un- over. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God, I was so mad at that game. Uh, another game that happened that a lot of people weren't talking about was uh, Arkansas upsetting A&M. Not just, wasn't it not just an upset, but like... They beat him by 10. Yeah. That game was in Arlington, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Um, That's pretty much it. I mean... I mean, Oklahoma, yeah. Oklahoma beat struggled. West, str- they struggled against West Virginia at home. I'm telling you, Oklahoma is vulnerable, and they go to. Are they going to? Yeah, they're at Kansas State this week. Tommy, mm-hmm. Tammy, Tammy. Where is Bedlam? Oh, and Bedlam is in uh, Stillwater. Stillwater this year. That's what, I'm, and they still have to play Iowa State. And Baylor. That game's at home, by the way. Just throwing that out there. And they also have to play Baylor. Iowa State has fallen off significantly. Yeah, but they're still Iowa State. Oh, yeah. Baylor ended up beating Iowa State. Yeah. Remember how I said put Baylor on your watch out list? Keep them on there. That's there are several much... teams that in the Big 12 that are looking at Oklahoma. Plus, they still got to play Texas, and it's a rivalry game. I mean, Michigan State Damn. survived Nebraska by the skin of their teeth. Uh, Boston College survived Mizzou because Mizzou's a fucking idiot. Because <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> we have a pack, we have an SEC offense with a fucking Sunbelt Sun Belt defense. defense. Yeah, exactly. God damn it. So anyway. here's some games of note that are happening on Saturday. No, we'll get to that in the pickums at the end of the show. Uh, speaking of... Speaking of uh, games that of teams with two losses, we talked about Clemson. They're eliminated. Tommy, I feel vindicated. I feel justified. I feel alive. The Chiefs fan base is being sent into a tailspin now. You know that you know that scene with SpongeBob, like with all the other SpongeBob's in his head, and like everything's on fire, and they're throwing papers and shit around. Yeah, that's basically a cheat, like a bunch of Chiefs fans right now, which I'm like, yeah, good, yeah. And the best part is, it's exposing who the bandwagons are, as opposed to. I fuck it. Those of us. Uh, those of us. Winning is a ha- winning is like a drug. You, you, for certain people, like winning is like a drug. Like Alabama, they're so yeah. used to winning, they'll be shocked when they lose. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fucking throw myself in there because fuck it, why not? Fans like me who grew up with Matt Castle, Brody Croyle, I mean, Tyler I, Thigpen. I mean, I I mean it's weird not seeing Drew Brees on the field on Sunday. Oh Instead, yeah, instead seeing him on the Sunday night desk, like Football Night in America desk. Talking about the Saints. But I'm saying all these bandwagon fans don't know the shit that the rest of us do. Yeah, they don't realize how great the 2011 Saints team was. No, I'm talking about the Chiefs right, right now, Right, that's what I'm talking about. No, I'm I know. I'm talking about the Saints, too. Yeah. But all the bandwagon fans are like, oh my god, the Chiefs have always been good. Uh, no! People also don't realize that 2011 was basically Drew Brees' best season. That wasn't 11. We've done it. It was 09. Statistically, 2011 I know, was his I know. best season But 09 the year they ever. won the Super Bowl. And he still didn't win MVP that year, by the way. Just Who won it? There. I don't know. Not might Drew have been Brees. Tom, might have been Tom Brady. Probably. 2011 NFL MVP? Yeah. Let's find out. Aaron Rodgers? Wasn't that Packers winning Super Bowl? Against the Steelers? So it could have been Rodgers. Yeah, it was Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. See? Look at that. I remember. Shit. <laughs> Not a lot. Mostly pointless stuff. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, Peyton Manning won it in 09. In 09? So Breeze has never won it. Oh, Breeze poor has Drew. Never, statistically, if you, see, if you look up his stats in 2011, that was his best season ever. Ever. Didn't... But people forget that Didn't Joe lost. Flacco win in... 2012? I'm pretty sure he did. So Joe Flacco fucking has fr- more... Dude, it's so fucking insane that Drew Brees has never won an MVP, yet Joe fucking Flacco hasn't won an MVP yet. I'm pretty sure. 
I don't remember if he has or not. No, wait, no, he hasn't. Who won it in 2012? AP. Oh, that's a... Okay, yeah, no, fair. Fair enough. So, no, Joe Flacco... But Adrian Peterson has a MVP, and Drew Brees doesn't. God, so crazy. God, fucking God, that's... Oh, man, that's his... Joe Flacco doesn't have an MVP, so that's fine. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Tommy might be shooting Dude, himself. Dude, I might have had a fucking aneurysm thing in that. Might have. Might have. Bro, that wouldn't have been a might have. That would have been a yes, you would have. Anyway, the Chiefs are in a tailspin right now. They lost to the Chargers, and it was glorious. Look, as, as a Saints fan... We'll get to the Saints here in a but, second. But seeing but seeing fans literally hit the panic button... In week, week three. three. It's like, as as a fan of football, seeing those fans hit the panic button in week, week three. Mm-hmm. We still have 14 games left. Yep. Pump the fucking brakes. Again, these are the bandwagon fans who have never known anything, you know. I mean, the Saints struggled against, like, basically just straight up just didn't show up against Carolina. And I'm like, yeah, this is pretty much how it's going to go this season. I already knew that. I'm like, I'm not hitting the panic button and be like, well, this is... this. No, because going in, we both knew that. Because I'm like, okay, week one. I mean, Jameis looked good. Then again, it was a neutral side game. Yeah, but no, going into the season, we both knew, so, all right, fuck, so we said the charge, let's transition to the Saints already, uh, Saints go into Foxborough and take care of business. They look good, they look really good. They looked like, of course, Toronto Armstead's out. Well. Which I'm, I was like, when I saw that, I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, <laughs> great, here we go again with all the fucking injuries. Yeah. I mean, they'll be back, but, like... But that team... I mean, I don't know how good New England's going to be this year. They are still an enigma. They're... I feel like... Because who they, who'd they play week one that they lost to? The Dolphins. Yeah. So they lost to Miami. Miami has two losses on the year, but they're... Or no. Yeah, has two losses on the year. But one of them was to the Raiders in a great game in overtime. Yeah, and the Pats week two beat the Jets, so. Yeah, so I mean. It was the ghost game. Everyone's going to yeah. call it out. Watch. Everyone's going to call it that ghost game. Yeah. Anyway. So we don't know what they are yet. Who do the Saints have next week? They're at home. It's it, Dome coming 2.0 against the Giants. Okay, so that'll be a dub. Okay, cool. Anyway. Uh, Saints looked really good. The Saints looked really good. I, they're still. I I feel like they're still trying to figure out a Drew Brees less offense. They're still trying to figure it out. I think they figured it out last week. They, I'm pretty sure they did, but I feel like Which, when Mike Thomas is back, I feel like that's when they're gonna hit their stride. Kind well, of. I'm not saying I'm. Not, this is just as an opt. Because opt- look at the stats that week. They only passed it like. 20 something odd times. Jameis and... Winston went 13 for 21, 128 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah. And then how many times did they run the ball? I mean, Al Kamara had 24 carries for 89 yards. Yeah, but it should show the total at the bottom. Uh, 38, they. So they ran the ball 30... 38 times for 142 yards rushing. So they ran the ball 38 times and passed it 21. I mean. Well, Winston went 13 of 21. So basically, he was the only quarterback. They had, but they had thirty. It was thirty. They had thirty-four pass attempts. They had thirty-four pass attempts. Yeah, he went thirteen of twenty-one. Do mm, the math. Do the math. Yeah, it means he had twenty-one pass oh, attempts. Sorry, sorry. My brain. See the the AL wild card stuff melt my brain down, bro. Uh But yeah, I mean, although the combination of. Jameis Winston and Marquez Callaway looked oh really good. Also, Sunday. you started crapping yourself when you saw a certain number seven enter oh, the game. Oh, Taysom Hill doing yeah. a wildcat. Taysom! For a touchdown? Taysom! I'm like, why the hell isn't Winston in this thing? And then I'm like, oh, okay. They scored yeah. a touchdown. I'm like, oh, okay. Because they, <laughs> they just ran a quarterback power. Like, I remember watching the Green Bay game, and when they did those plays with Taysom, where they just go on a wildcat. And then they just direct snap the ball to him, and then, mm-hmm. like, they get no yards. I'm like, 
yeah, that might have worked when they first signed him. Not anymore. Yeah. But, you know. Um, any other notable ones? Uh, Justin Tucker broke oh, the yeah, NFL Justin record. Justin Tucker with a fucking boot for 66 yards. Although Lions fans will be salty and be like, but there was a delay of game. Shut the fuck up. Who cares? It's, it's history right there. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Raiders beat the Dolphins in overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, Raiders, Ram- the Raiders are l- looking good. Good. They're looking very, good. Very good. Very good friends. Which I'm just waiting for them to collapse because that seems to happen under John Gruden for them. Um, I mean, the Broncos are 3-0, and but then again, the teams they played are, com- are combined 0-9. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not too... <sighs> Not too worried about the Broncos um, if I'm a yeah. Chiefs fan. Uh, the Rams, Rams are going to be a problem this season. You think? Uh, they're going to be a giant problem. Going into the... I Again, I feel vindicated. I feel justified. I've been saying Matt Stafford's been the best quarterback in the league. Matt Stafford is up there. With- it's just he's been on the Lions. And now he's on an actual team. And holy fuck... Yo, everyone's now realizing what I've been saying this whole time. Uh, when they traded for Matt Stafford, I'm like, hmm. I saw it, I'm like, good, good. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Tommy, you know this. I am in a fantasy league right now where you have the same team that you've drafted since 2016. Who are my two quarterbacks in that league? I believe Matt Stafford is one of them. Yes, and who's the other one? Uh... Another man that I was justified when he went to another team and became really good. Oh, I don't know. Ryan Tannehill. Wait, Tannehill's your other quarterback? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. And I started Stafford last week. Good. Act that's good. Tommy. By the way, here was, here was... My opponent started Mahomes. I won last week. Oh, you did? Yes. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you. By the way... Two this, interceptions this from was, Mahomes. This was Matt Stafford's stat line, by the way. 27 to 38, 343 yards and four touchdowns. Before you say anything, I'm going to say this. It's actually nice to see Matt Stafford play the way he does, especially now that he has an actual head coach. And an actual O-line and actual receivers that aren't just Megatron and an actual run game behind him and an actual defense and an, an, an actual everything. Just he is surrounded by a good team. Finally. Let, let me rephrase. Matthew Stafford is finally surrounded by a competent goddamn franchise. You know. Fuck the owner of the Rams. You know, fuck you, Stan Kroenke. The team should still be in St. Louis. But, you know. Uh, can we talk about the Sunday night game? Uh, you, <laughs> like we'll Twitter, get there. Like Twitter basically did. So, Tommy, speaking of teams that are going to be a problem, whatever we thought happened in week one, Rodgers was going to be a saboteur. That Mm-mm-mm. that ain't I like happening. I also took the. I'm like, hmm, it wouldn't surprise me if Aaron Rodgers plays like Michael Jordan when someone takes offense, like when he takes offense to something. And Aaron Rodgers probably looked at all this stuff people were saying at week one, and then he just pulled the Michael Jordan and said, "And I took that personally," because that's a bad man right there. Yeah, he had a nice pedestrian twenty three of thirty three, two hundred sixty one yards and two touchdowns. Pedestrian. Oh, so did Devontae Adams. 12 receptions for 132 yards and a touchdown. <laughs> so you're saying, I have a good team. I feel like he still doesn't want to be there, though. You know, whatever. I'm just sitting here, and I'm hearing that Devontae Adams stat line. I'm like, I won this week, and it's so good. You don't know how happy I am about it. Oh, by the way, can we can we admit how good Justin Herbert looked? Uh, in Arrowhead, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he's 2-0 and oh at Arrowhead right now. He's never lost a game. No, at Arrowhead. Undefeated, never lost. Well, granted, the first one was against backup The Scrubs, but, yeah. basically. No, it was the Scrubs. So, take it with a grain of salt, but at the same time, Justin Herbert looked really good. Also, Bears should fire Matt Nagy because they're basically ruining Justin Fields. Basically, I mean they are. Hold on. Basically, Wait, they basically they have ruined Justin Fields. Yeah, right? and it's not even. It's not the season's not even over. It's week three, going into week four. Yeah, and they've they already scored. ruined Justin Fields. Basically, they almost. had one net passing yard last week against the Browns, 
A single net passing yard. They had 47 yards of offense. I don't understand. What How the fuck do you have 47 yards of offense? I don't understand what Matt Nagy's trying to do here. I don't. I really don't. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, he should be fired. I feel like he should just be fired already. Or just, just say, I quit. I don't give a shit. Because I don't. That's, his, that's his demeanor every week now, probably. I don't know, man. It's... <laughs> I really don't know. Can we also talk about how amazing Dak Prescott is? Like, how so much you want to talk about Monday night? So hang I, on. Like, Let's, so we said Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. We didn't say we the final about, score. We, oh, the final was 30 to 28. Aaron Rodgers did a Aaron Rodgers thing and basically... Uh, 37 so, seconds left, so no timeouts. About 37, yeah, 37 seconds left, no timeouts. 49ers fans are, are celebrating. So if you remember the picture of that Packers fan when they were in Dallas for that... Playoff game in 2016. Playoff game? 2016. Where, it, where he, it's just him smiling and all these Cowboys fans around them celebrating. He's like, they're celebrating with this much time left. I'm like, Minute two. With like a minute and two left, they yeah. have no idea. This game is far from, He's like, this game is far from over. Yeah, that basically happened again against San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. As much Aaron Rodgers like, is up there with one of those QBs that has clock management down to a science. Yeah. Oh, no, he does. That, and, but he is the king, and I mean the undisputed king of the hard count. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is the king of the undisputed king of the hard count. Yeah. People say, oh, Aaron, Mahomes is... No, uh-uh. No, Aaron Mahomes Rod- does Aaron not Rodgers, have... Aaron Rodgers has the hard count to a science. I can't wait to see who the next... Um, young hard count master is going to be in the NFL at quarterback because you know it's going to happen someone's going to take that mantle someone's going to take it but by the way the game against uh Dallas's game against Philly Dak's post game interview I'm like it I'm like god this guy's amazing so Tommy go off about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys Dak Prescott is a good human being the best one of the best human beings it's like how how can you hate him? I don't know. Like how I, how can you possibly if, hate him? If you're an Eagles play, fan, well, yeah, I mean, or a course. Giants fan, or you know, here's the thing: if it was literally, if he was on literally any other team, I would buy his jersey. But but since he's, but yeah, that's the that's but the thing. see that's the but thing. if he was for if he played for any other team, I would okay, buy his jersey. There, there, okay, hang on, let me let me refresh. Except the Raiders, Steelers, Patriots. I'd buy a Raiders. Bro- no, I wouldn't. I would. That'd actually look pretty nice. Uh, lie. Steelers, Patriots, Broncos. Uh, those are the only ones. If you played for any but those four. Patriots. I said them. Atlanta. For me, okay. Patriots. Atlanta. Atlanta Steelers. Atlanta, Pittsburgh. Uh, Tampa Bay. Yeah, Tampa, Carolina. Do you really? Because I get the vibe that y'all feel the same way about the Panthers, like the Chiefs feel about the Chargers. They're like they're there. there. So I think I would totally buy a Dak Prescott jersey if he was an if he was a Panther. Eh, eh, eh. 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 The jerseys, the jerseys are so pedestrian. I love those jerseys. They're just so they're beautiful, especially if they got the teal on. That's probably the five. But since he, but like I would buy a Dak Prescott jersey. But he plays for the Cowboys. I'm not buying a Cowboys jersey. No. Not. Absolutely not. No. Been in that stadium. Oh, yeah. How'd you feel about it? Dude, that thing. Dude, it is so it is so hard not to look at it. If you go there for a game, it is so hard not to look at the giant fucking jumbotron in the middle of the like the field. Yeah. Like, There's dude, it is ma- like T V makes it look make it seem pretty big but like you got to go there in person to see how absolutely massive this thing is yeah like it is massive the fact that the wwe worked around that thing like around the wwe yeah the wwe worked around it to put like a bunch like stuff around it is just um, mind-boggling yeah Sucks that was the worst mania in recent sucked memory. It was, sucked, it, sucked it was one of the worst manias in Ever. recent history. Yeah. No, nine. 
we when Mania season comes around, we'll rank our least favorite Manias and our favorite Manias. <laughs> I know what my number like my least favorite one's gonna be. In my head. Uh, either way, hate. But seriously though, like that that's I know I know I'm kind of pouring salt into an open wound because we went for Dallas and during high school for a con like contest stuff. Mm-hmm. You couldn't go because of um, wrestling prior com- I'd say prior commitments. No, go ahead and say it. I had I had a wrestling, wrestling tournament. I had a wrestling tournament. I that was what? <laughs> senior. Oh well, yeah. No, I definitely couldn't have gone because I was coming back from because I was like because uh our Higgs basically said, "Do you want to go to Dallas?" I'm like. Well, probably like when, and then they said that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I mean, I'm going to Cooperstown before the start of the school year. Yeah, because I don't remember if it was fall that was the, or that, it was the fall. Fo- okay, so that was football then. Actually, yeah. Look it up right I now. Have I have a bunch of photos saved from when we went to Dallas? Because it was either football or wrestling that I couldn't go for. <laughs> I remember that week because for some reason. They decided to make me director because all of you were gone. And Jeff was like, uh, Brock, you're director. I'm what? Uh, it was in November. So yeah, that had been wrestling. That, yeah, that was definitely wrestling. So yeah, which Tommy knows me. Uh, that was a pretty big year for me because I went to. You went to state that year, right? I went to state that year. Got murdered at state by the number four. Heavyweight in the <laughs> state of Missouri. No, in the nation. Or in the nation, I mean. Yeah. And then just ran into the guy, just some other dude that was really good. But yeah, no, I'm. Yeah. What's funny was is that I've always wanted to go to AT and T Stadium. Like that was up there for like a, I wouldn't say a bucket list thing, but like a places that I've wanted to go. Mm-hmm. I crossed that off, and that was like the best. We had this nice, sweet old lady with, like, a little Texas twing, but not enough. But not, like, pure Texas. Yeah. She was the sweetest old lady. I don't remember her name. No. She was the sweetest. But, but, se- yeah. but yeah. seriously, though, like, if you... Cowboys murked the Eagles. Although Jalen Hurts with an all-time post-game... Post-game... Ta- post-game... Post Today, Junior. No. It, he basically said this. It's like, you know, you don't look to take a shit you just flush it down the toilet he's basically he said something like that he's like i'm like that's an all-time quote right oh yeah tommy that wraps it up are you ready for pickums yeah let's get pickums going shall we all right what game would you let's start with college give me the big ones in college football this week um at 11 o'clock saturday Mm, yes arkansas at georgia that game is in the hedges so George is favored by how much? Wow, that's a lot. How much are they favored by? Eighteen and a half. I mean, I get it's between the hedges, but the over under in that game is forty eight and a half. That's it. Wow. Okay, bro. Uh, uh Tommy, you go first. Wow, okay. That's... Because <laughs> uh, I know who I'm taking with it being an 18. That's way too many points. Yeah. I do like the over in this game, though. Oh, 100%. I'm taking the over. Okay. So you're taking Arkansas as well? Just the points are outright. I'm taking Georgia. You're ta- You're taking the 18? Tommy. Tommy. I need to shank things up. Give me Arkansas, because that's way too much. Do you have them out, right? No. No, I don't have Georgia out right either. You would have to if you're taking them in this game with the points. Eh, fuck, I'll take Georgia out right. You have to. I'm taking Georgia in the over. Uh, Next game at 130. How the fuck? Why the fuck are you taking Georgia... Plus 18. Because I'm... You mean minus 18? You know what I mean. They're favored by 18. Because I'm fuck? cause I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, obviously. You're desperate. It's like Dave betting 100 grand on Arizona week one or whatever it was. <laughs> week two. Week two. Because uh, he only another, won it because of 
fucking kicker for the... We're only doing three, because it's the only three where everyone's going to be talking about. No. You remember, we do a big one, and then we do uh, a... There's the three this week. That's going to be our big one. There's well, three okay. this week. And then we also do an obscure one. Remember? There's three okay. big games this week. Okay, we did two obscure ones last week. Give me these three, or these next two big ones, and then we'll pick two obscures. Cincinnati at Notre Dame. This game is on at 1.30 in NBC. How much is... Cincinnati is, is a two-and-a-half point favorite. Cincinnati is favored? Let's go! Let's go! Who do you got? Are you finally going to jump aboard the hype train with me? You're riding the Bearcats? Let's go, Tommy! Let's go! Over under is 50 and a half for this. Only? Game. Bro! Tommy, are you riding the Cincinnati hype train with me? I got Cincinnati. Hey, this game. go Bearcats, baby. Cincinnati's C- winning this game. Cincinnati's going to the college football playoff. Like, unless SMU stops them, they're going. That's the only logical thing for them. Is this supposed to be a rhetorical question? What? If S- no, SMU might. Those games get chippy. Plus, um, we saw this past week what SMU does to TCU. Tommy. Picking TCU. Dumbass. Never sleep on the Mustangs. So, the next game is our 230 CBS game. Mm-hmm. Alabama and Miss Ole Miss. Over under for the old Miss Bama game. This game is in Tuscaloosa, by the way. Okay, over under or uh, favored, Bama. I'm guessing. Bama is a fourteen and a half point favorite. How is Georgia an eighteen and Alabama is only a fourteen? <sighs> over under for this game is seventy nine and a half. That sounds about right. Tommy, who you got? Alabama. Not you got no, Bama, but Alabama. 14's a lot. That's all I'm going to say. 18 is a lot. Yeah, 14's a lot for, on Old Miss. Because isn't Old Miss ranked right now? Yeah, they're ranked 12th. Alabama, shocker, is ranked number one. Shocker, right? Whoa. Yeah. Did you see that? Alabama's ranked number one for the first time. I feel like 14's a lot. No, 18 is a lot. Well, yeah. But you're, like those you're writing it, though. You're writing that 18. Yeah, because I'm crazy. I need to shake You are up. crazy! I'm like, man, it's time to shake things up. Oh my god. Oh, we didn't even talk about the draft. No, we're not even going to talk about that, because we know what's probably might happen. Yeah. But I got one more wrestling thing when we do wrap up, but anyway. Um, I got Alabama. <laughs> 79 and a half, though. <sighs> That's what? One team breaks 40? Yeah. It'd have to be 45. Eight, so just call it, if they were to get to 80, 41-39. Yeah. Yeah, would be 80. They could do that. They could do that. I mean, it'd probably be 45 or 45 to 40. I could totally see a... I could totally see that being a I could see a 49. I could totally see a 49 to 45. Are you taking the over in this game? I'm taking it. Anyway, uh, 14 is a lot. No, 18 is a lot, and I am that crazy to take it. 14 is a lot in this one. If Bam... How many games are we doing for the NFL, by the way? I don't know. We got two more obscure ones in the NCAA, by the way. No, um, one more. We're only doing one. We're one doing more? Mac. We're going to do our obscure... We'll, we'll start doing just one Mac game. We'll do one... We'll be like... <laughs> We do one Mac game every time. No, we got to do another one. How about this? We do one Mac game and then either SMU or uh, BYU. No, 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 no. We got to do, do a Mac game. Mac action, baby. Who does BYU play this week? Uh, I'm, fuck, I'm taking State. Bama. Oh, uh, okay. So how much is BYU favored by? Eight and a half. They're only favored eight and a half? Over under 61 and a half. The only favored eight and a half in the Battle of the Brothers. I guess. What the f- I'm not touching that game. Nah. We're doing a matching game, though, baby. Hell yeah. Give me that matching game. Who's SMU playing this week? Don't know. Don't really... Well, if it's a good game... South Florida. I ain't gonna be a good one. They'll murder him. 
Let's look at our matching game. Yeah. Which we have a plethora. Well, yeah. We have Toledo, UMass. Ooh, that's a Western good one. Michigan Buffalo. So Eastern, that first... hold, on, hold on, I'm gonna go through the games yeah. and you can decide which one you want to do. Mm-hmm. Eastern Michigan, Northern Illinois. Oh. Central Michigan and Miami of Ohio. Oh. Ohio and Akron. Oh. Bowling Green, Kent State, and then Army and Ball State. We well, two of those aren't we might, we might actual do... MAC games because they're non-conference games. We might do Eastern Michigan, Northern Illinois. I'm liking that one. Although I also really like Akron versus Ohio. Ohio is 0-4, by the way. Oh, shit. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do Eastern Michigan, Northern Illinois. All right. So, Eastern Michigan is 3-1. and one. Northern Illinois is 2-2. Two and two. <sighs> This game is in DeKalb, Illinois. This game they're playing at home. Yeah, so Northern Illinois is the home team. Brock? Northern Illinois mm-hmm. is favored by two and a half. That sounds right. The over under is sixty and a half. In this game. <laughs> Who do you have and why? <coughs> uh, well, if it was in the factory, I would totally be pounding the Eagles. But because it's on the plains at the cab, I gotta go with the Huskies. <sighs> two and a half. Because who who Are we is only going to differ on one college football pick this week? <laughs> the, that sounds about right. That's about what we've been doing. Yeah, bro, we did two last week because I chose. Right, SMU. but we only differed on one. We're only going to differ on one this week. You're taking Northern Illinois. Aren't you taking Northern Illinois? Yeah. Are you taking Northern Illinois? Okay. I thought you would have gone with. Do you the have Eagles. the over or the under in this game? Shit, sixty. So by the way, <coughs> excuse me. The game we did last week, which was Toledo and Ball State, uh, that game hit the under 57 and a half, and it, the final was 22 to 12. I said the under in that game. I did too. So they only scored 34 points that entire game, well under mm-hmm. the total point score. I love Maction. I love Maction. Are you going with the under in this game? <sighs> Who has Eastern Michigan beat this year? Who's Eastern Michigan beat this year? Mm-hmm. You said they're three and one. Uh, Saint Francis P. I have no, no idea. So an FCS school, some weird FCS school. Uh huh. They lost to it, so they beat them uh-huh. thirty-five to fifteen. That was the fight. They beat them by twenty. <laughs> okay. They lost to Wisconsin. We thirty-four we... to seven. Ooh. Okay. So they lost by. 27? Yeah, something like that. They beat UMass 42 to 28. Is UMass back in the MAC? I have no idea. I know they were an independent. No, they're not. Okay, good. Anyway, they beat UMass. Then who'd they beat? The final score of that game was 42 to 28. D- UMass is terrible, so. And then this past Saturday, they beat Texas State. In San Angelo? No, it's about at home. Oh, at the factory. The final score of that game, 59-21. to Dude, Texas State is shit. Okay, Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois schedule? Yeah. They lost... They, wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. Sorry. Excuse uh-huh. Me. They beat Northern... They beat Georgia Tech. Remember, they beat Georgia Tech on the 4th. September the 4th, 22-21. Mm. Remember, they oh, talked about that that's game. that's right. Then they proceed to lose to Wyoming at home. Okay, so they lost to the Cowboys. 50-43. to 43. Okay. Then they lose to Michigan. Okay. 63-10. to 10. I mean, you know, it's Michigan. It's Michigan. And then they beat Maine 41-14. to 14. Ooh. So... Mm-hmm. Up, score a lot of points. Like they score than, points. Other than the game against, other than the games against Northern Illinois and Michigan. You mean, you, or Georgia Tech? Why the yeah. fuck do I keep saying Northern Illinois? Know. Georgia Tech yeah. and Michigan. They score points. They do. They put some points on the board. I like. I already said you I say, like Northern Illinois. You want to say no? No, I'm talking about the over under. I know. I don't. I'm gonna say fuck it and let's both take the over in this game and see what happens. (sighs) 
Yeah. 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 Fuck it. Yeah, let's fuck it. it. <laughs> yeah. All Overs right. Club. Two NFL NFL. teams. I know one game in particular I know we're doing. I know two games we're actually going to be doing. Well, excluding the prime times. We're not doing the Thursday night game. No, we always do the Thursday. I'm not. I'm, we, oh, we did it for Washington and New York. We're doing it this week. Yeah, but I'm not doing it for fucking Jacksonville and Cincinnati. Well, who's favored? Cincinnati? Seven, seven and a half point favorite. I got Cincinnati. Eh, fuck it, I'll take Cincinnati. There you go. Over Was under, it that hard? Over under is 46. That's it? <laughs> really? That's it? Huh. I'm not touching that. Yeah, no. Next game. Come on. We, let's do a noon game. <laughs> what? Are they all bad? Are new games no, shit I'm this week? I'm trying to find a decent one. Are they all shit this week? I mean, actually. Oh. Oh, we got an actually. Panthers, Cowboys. Oh! Bring that one on, baby. Dallas is a five-point favorite. Dallas is favored. They're at home, by the way. Dallas is favored against the Panthers. Correct. By five. Give me the Panthers. Just like the Chargers dilemma. It's a Saints fan. The Panthers are good. Yes. I don't believe in the Cowboys as much as I do the Panthers right now. Their other two two wins they have, excluding the Saints, which is a pretty decent win, Mm -hmm. the other two wins they have are against the Jets and the Texans. Yeah. As much as I hate fucking... As much as I'm going to fucking hate doing this, I'm taking Dallas. Here's the only reason I'm taking the Panthers. I'm not taking them outright. I just think it's going to be closer than five. I think it's going to be a lot closer than five. So, take the Panthers, I'm then. I'm Dallas. I'm crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay. Whatever. Watch when the Panthers win, by the way. King's in Dallas, though. Yeah, so? Watch, watch Sam Darnold throw for, like, 500 yards or something. Okay. Now, we have... Do you want to do these two? Do you, do you want to do the Sunday night game as well? Not really. I mean, we have to do the prime times. Okay. But we have two very interesting games at 305. From the same division. We have we have two West Coast games at 305. We have Cardinals Rams. Yup. And 49ers Seahawks. Okay, so how much are the Rams favored by? LA's only a four and a half. Oh, I'm taking LA. They're yeah, no. Four and a half point favorite. That's why I looked at him like how much are the Rams favored by? <laughs> Um, over under is fifty four and a half. Sounds about right for him. Yeah. No. I'm taking the over. Like no. too short to bet the under. Big cat likes to say something. I'm taking the under because look what we saw happen in the Tampa game. Life's too short to bet the over. Under, I mean. I'm betting the under. Life's too short to bet the under. I'm taking the under. Take the over. Whatever. Next NFC West matchup. How much are the Seahawks favored by against the Niners and San Francisco? Uh, they're not. They're not? They're getting two and a half points. I thought Minnesota ended up beating Seattle. Oh my god, that's right. Oh, we forgot to talk about that. My Vikings finally won! How much Colts, though? Shut up. Hey, there you go. Shut up, bitch. Listen. I know. I know we're terrible. Uh, how much are the Niners favored by? Two and a half. Niners. They played the Packers close. Niners. Played the Packers close. Plus, they had some sick ass uniforms Sunday night. Oh, yeah, we Those forgot to mention that. Were sick. They were tight. I clock. would totally buy a, a George, George Kittle, Kittle jersey. Oh, by the way, he said George Kittle. Tight end university. Yeah, he did. Great. Anyway, moving on. Sunday night game. Bucks, Patriots. That game is in Foxborough. That's, That's Sunday? Brady's home. That's Sunday night, yeah. Okay. It's the home. It's the video I, it's the promo I sent you. What's one's the Chiefs? Noon. Oh, okay. I thought that, for some reason, I thought that was a primetime game. Do you really game. think Philly-Kansas City is going to be the primetime game? Yes. No. I thought it might have. No. Anyway. So if the teams were good, then they would have put them back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Tampa is a six and a half point favorite. Tampa. Over-under is 49. Well, I'm taking Tampa. I'm taking Tampa in the under. 
Yeah. And then Monday night. Very decent Monday night game. We actually have a really... Actually, we have a... <laughs> That's actually a really good Monday night game. What is the Monday night game? Tell me! Raiders Chargers. Wow. That is a good Monday night game. L.A. is a three and a half point favorite. The Chargers are favored? It's going to be a home game for the Raiders. The over-under in this game is 52 and a half. <sighs> Quick, because the, as the time we're recording this, we have about an hour before game time. Okay. Um, as much as it pains me, as much as it pains me, I got to take the Raiders. I, I feel more confident about them than I do the Chargers still. Really? Yeah. Well, think- you got to look at who the Raiders have beaten. They beat Baltimore. They beat Pittsburgh, and they beat Miami. Two of those games were in overtime, by the way. Just throwing that out there. I know, but still. Chargers lost to the Cowboys. On, like, a, basically a last-second field goal. Yeah. And At then, home. And, and it's the, going to be a very yeah, similar and they, environment. And the, yeah, and then they squeezed, the ru- squeezed a win in Washington. And squeezed a win in Kansas City. And straight up, no, they didn't squeeze. They straight up beat the Chiefs. No. I don't care. I don't care what the final score says. They straight up went there and just beat the Chiefs. They did. They had to they score with they less than did. a minute left. But still, yeah. they went in there and beat the Chiefs. Yeah. But that's why I'm saying I feel like the Raiders more in that one. You're taking the Chargers. No. Yeah, exactly. Much, you, think you make such good points. So exactly. What, so what game are we differing on in the NFL games? I don't think any. Oh, we're differing in Carolina and Dallas. I took Cowboys. Yeah, we're... Differing in Panthers Cowboys. So that's a I got the Raiders. They just they look They look really they good. They look really good. And until because it's a John Gruden team, until the wheels fall off on them. Uh, but that's the problem. It's I'm like waiting knowing, for it. knowing with Gruden, I'm like, yeah, they look really good. It, I'm like it normally so week four last year is when I was they like, beat the Chiefs. I'm like in Arrowhead. When is this I'm like, when is it gonna happen? Yeah. That's the that's the problem with it's, this Raiders team. They it's look good. about it's usually about week. Seven, eight, somewhere in there. That halfway point. Yeah. Of the NFL season. So I'm riding them till then, and then not touching them. I feel, I'm like I'm like not this, touching. I'm them like after this that. team looks really good. I'm like, but then I'm like, when is it gonna happen? Yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for that. So that is our Monday night game. Do, do we actually have a really good Monday night game? Yeah, we do. I mean, I guess I mean some people might say Cowboys Eagles game was a good Monday night game, but they beat them by they beat them by twenty. Yeah. You beat him by 20. There we go. That has been our pickums. Tommy, wrap up time. Uh, stuff we didn't cover on Wayne. Uh, St. Louis, the Dome. Yeah, so St. Louis is hosting the Royal Rumble next year. Yeah, and I am. God, it was so hard for me to say not say this year. I know. Tickets go on sale July 15th. Tommy, I will see what I can do to get four tickets for that July. one. No. October. Why'd you, say Ju- you said July. Oh, my bad. October 15th. I'm like, bro, those tickets would have been sold out yeah. by now. Uh, October 15th, I will see what I can do to get... Those tickets are going to be expensive, by the way. So here's the thing. This is the biggest venue that they've ever run for the Rumble. The Dome is the biggest. It seats 70 some odd thousand. Wait. Wait. do do? What are you thinking of? No, I was thinking of uh, the Rumble in in uh, Arizona. Yeah. I think the current one that's the biggest is when they ran the Alamo Dome in 96. It's the biggest venue that they've ran. Right. And when they ran the, the Alamo Dome again. For the Rumble? Yeah. That's always a good place for them to have it. Yeah. But I feel... Look about what the capacity of the Dome is right now. What's it called? It's the... Just call it the Dome in St. Louis. Sorry. For those of you who don't know what we're talking... That's what people in Missouri call it, because it's the only Dome stadium... The dome in- at America Center? Yeah, that, whatever. It's the only Dome in the state of Missouri, and... Wasn't it called, like, the Edward Jones? Arena it was when like the Rams the Edward, were there. No, the Edward Jones Dome. Yeah, but you call it the Dome. No, I don't. Well... I don't call it the Dome. I know you don't. You call it the Dome. That's not the dome. That's a faux dome right there. Uh, For high school football, that's the dome. So it's... Where the fuck? Come on. Give me it a, should be capacity. 
The dome provides multiple stadium configurations that can seat up to 82,624 people. So 82,000 is the capacity. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be the biggest. And the thing that will be working against it is it's the state of Missouri. <laughs> it's St. Louis. That's going to be the thing that's going to be working against it because there's no airport to have people fly in from. Out of Louis has an airport? Not not to the level of uh, I know, but Chicago I know. Yeah, I know or uh, Dallas or, you know, it's it's St. Louis. For us, that's going to be easy because, you know, it's just a drive west or a drive east for us. I always forget. They Straight did, down they 70. Did blood, they did a blood money Royal Rumble. Yeah, they did. The greatest Royal Rumble. That te- technically, I mean, with. With air quotes, that's the largest Royal Rumble, attendance-wise. But I'm putting air quotes on that, because... Because it wasn't a real Rumble. No. Yeah. But... Oh, by the way, Keith Lee has a new name now. Yes. Bearcat, which I fucking love. Yep. Um, The Hurt Business have reunited. He also debuted it, by the way, he also debuted it in Cincinnati. Let's throw that out there, so he was kind of over with the crowd when they said that. Um... The also, Hurt Business is back. Yep. Let's fucking go. Yep. Uh, I think that wraps up everything that we missed. It's pretty, yeah. Yeah, that wraps it up. Um, oh, did I, did I, I forgot to mention that I kind of did a, like the lady, at, I kind of did like the lady at the, the preseason game for the Rams. Oh. Where she basically like threw a souvenir cup at some fans and instigated a fight. I was basically like that Sunday where I'm like, I literally tweeted out like, the Chiefs are in last place. Lamau, the Chiefs are in last place of the AFC West, and I just sent a bunch of crying, laughing emojis. It didn't get the response I think that you wanted. No, I probably should have just done hashtag Chiefs instead of hashtag Chiefs Kingdom. No, that's the... But I did the, the LAC versus KC or whatever. Well, you should have done the Chargers hashtag, which I think is bolt up. I think it is. So, anyway. um, That's all for the wrap-up, Tommy. Uh, we didn't mention next week, Dark Side of the Ring. For Wayne, it's going to be uh, FMW. Yeah, it's going to be exploding ring matches. Which, did you see, did it, you, you you heard what I said. Like, they have, obviously, Terry Funk, Nick Onita. Foley, Onita, and then Sabu. Sabu, Sabu, Sabu! <laughs> Either way, this, will be, I, this one would be very entertaining. Yep. Like, we will always, like, the the, the, the collision, the North Korea one was all... Collision cool. in Korea is... You always get to have, you, you have to have that wild one. And I mean, like, the really wild one. Yeah. Where... Oh, I think the wild one this season is going to be Johnny K-9. That's right. I think it's that's that. That's right. They are doing one on Johnny K-9. I think that's going to be the wild one. But anyway, if not playing right from hell, that might be the are wild one. Are they doing one. a steroid trial? They are. That's what they're ending the season with. Good. Anyway, uh, I've been Brock Gorton. I've been Tommy Haley. And this has been Big Time Talkers. We're getting ready to head out to Kauffman Stadium. Let's go Royals. Let's go Royals. Tommy, come on. Let's go Royals. Let's go Royals. Thank you, everyone. Bye. We will see you next Monday for We Are Not Entertained. Tommy, HCW's prepared to have a show. Big stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can uh, come over and do nothing because you don't come over to my house. Bye, everybody.